Greetings, this is Lou Holtz, and you're watching Cyber Golf Television. Coming up on Cyber Golf Front 9, Monty's not happy with Augusta National. Believe it or not, former NFL star Jerome Bettis has some golf tips for us. My shot lands on the candor of Woody Austin, and John Cook doubling his pleasure. Cyber Golf Front 9 starts now. Welcome to Cyber Golf Front 9. I'm your host, Matt Biondi. Colin Montgomery's agent has stepped in to defuse comments made by Monty, criticizing Augusta National for inviting players for television rights. It's only the second time since 1992 that Montgomery hasn't been invited to the Masters. Instead, the Masters has invited three additional Asian players for what they say is a reason to promote the game worldwide. NFL football player Jerome Bettis spent a career trying to get the football into the end zone. Now he's spending his free time trying to get the golf ball into the hole. He talked to CyberGolf Television about the keys to playing good golf, some helpful hints from the bus. How you go to the, to the range and how, how do you practice at the range? Yeah. You don't just go and hit balls, you go with a purpose, you go out there and whatever is the plan for the day you stick to it, whether it's the grip, whether it's alignment, you know, whether it's posture, you, know, you go out there with, a, with, with some type of idea of what you want to get accomplished and that should be the goal. And so it's, it's helped me tremendously. Now my shot and serious props to one Woody Austin for stating the obvious. Austin blew the tournament last week at the Zurich Classic, scored a double bogey on the 18th hole. Yeah, he choked it away, but how many golfers on the PGA Tour would actually admit it? But there was Woody, a wonderful golfer and a great person to have on the PGA Tour. Afterwards saying, quote, I puked my guts out. There's a man who steps up to the podium and says exactly what the truth is. Good job, Woody. John Cook didn't win last week's Champions event, but he did make the shot of the tournament. Par 5, 14th hole, he scores a double eagle. The old albatross, witnessed by playing partner Nick Price. Price said, quote, greatest golf shot I've ever seen. Now it's time for the CyberGolf Front 9 quiz, and our question today is this. Speaking of double eagles, what famous golfer eventually won a major championship after scoring the albatross at the Masters? Log on to CyberGolf.com and possibly win our CyberGolf Front 9 prize. That's a wrap for CyberGolf Front 9. I'm your host, Matt Bionti. Keep it in the short grass. See you tomorrow, everyone.